Most antihistamines are used for the management of allergic conditions. Two main classes of histamine receptors exist, H1 receptors and H2 receptors. Antihistamine drugs that bind to H1 receptors are generally used to treat allergies and allergic rhinitis. Drugs that bind to H2 receptors treat upper gastrointestinal conditions that are caused by excessive stomach acid. H1 antihistamines are further classified according to first and second generation agents. First generation H1 antihistamines more easily cross the blood brain barrier into the central nervous system, CNS whereas second-generation H1 antihistamines do not. This difference leads to different therapeutic and side-effect profiles. FDA-approved indications of H1 antihistamines, allergic rhinitis, allergic conjunctivitis, allergic dermatological reactions, sinusitis, urticaria, angioedema, atopic dermatitis, bronchitis, motion sickness, nausea, vomiting, while H2 antihistamines are used for peptic ulcer, acid reflux, gastritis. Loratadine and cetirizine are the most commonly prescribed H1 antihistamines, followed by newer desloratadine and levocetirizine. Effects of cetirizine generally begin within an hour and last for about a day. Almost same to loratadine and levocetirizine. But desloratadine action lasts more than one days. Its half-life period is 27H. All of them are second generation. Desloratadine and levocetirizine sometimes also called third generation H1 antihistamines. Desloratadine and fexofenadine are registered for use in infants 6 months and older, while loratadine and cetirizine can be used from 12 months of age. Some antihistamines are used for their antinausea or sedative properties. First-generation antihistamines have several indications that primarily include nausea and vomiting secondary to motion sickness and vertigo but are useful secondarily for allergic rhinitis, insomnia, allergic reactions, Parkinsonism, and antitussive. Diphenhydromine. Nasal allergies, allergic dermatosis, anaphylaxis in combination with epinephrine, insomnia, prevention of motion sickness, antiemetic, management of Parkinsonian symptoms including extrapyramidal symptoms. Doxylamine succinate. Nausea and vomiting of pregnancy. During pregnancy, up to 10% of patients will require pharmacotherapy to treat their nausea and vomiting. Cyclozine is a sedating antihistamine used specifically for prevention of motion sickness. Loratadine is metabolized in the liver, while cetirizine, Desloratadine and fexofenadine are not metabolized extensively. Cetirizine is eliminated in the urine, while fexofenadine is excreted in the feces. Dose reduction should be considered in patients with severe liver or kidney dysfunction. First-generation antihistamines have sedating effect which is unfavorable side effect which affects human daily life. Another important thing. Sedating antihistamines can also have anticholinergic effects that can be particularly problematic in older patients who are more susceptible to adverse effects such as dry mouth, urinary retention, and delirium. There is a widespread belief in the community that taking long-term antihistamines makes them less effective and that it is better to swap between different types of antihistamines for the best effect. There is no compelling evidence that tachyphylaxis occurs with the newer H1 antihistamines. Multiple studies have shown that the effectiveness of the newer drugs in ameliorating the effect of histamine release in the skin continues unchanged for up to 30 to 180 days. Newer, less sedating antihistamines have very few adverse effects. Cetirizine is the one most likely to cause sedation, particularly in higher doses. Although very rare, idiosyncratic hypersensitivity reactions have been described for each of the antihistamines. Other reported adverse effects are headache, fatigue, drowsiness, insomnia, and rash. Sedating antihistamines have been associated with a lowered seizure threshold. Overdoses of newer, less sedating antihistamines may result in tachycardia, drowsiness, agitation, gastrointestinal effects, and headache. An ECG is recommended. Overdoses of sedating antihistamines can give rise to dangerous sedation as well as anticholinergic signs. Seizures and cardiac conduction abnormalities may also occur. 
There are two other classes of histamine receptors, H3 and H4. While compounds exist that bind them, there is no specific clinical benefit to clinicians using those compounds in humans. Antihistamine medications are generally administered orally in a tablet dosage form. Intravenous, 4, and intramuscular, IM, administration are also possible, reserved chiefly for inpatient usage for the treatment of specific conditions. Multiple studies have shown that H1 antihistamines, including fexofenadine, interfere with exercise-induced muscle growth and repair.